We're working on the seventh and last part of part two in the practice exam. You're working for an embedded computing system manufacturer. One of the key concerns they have is configuring how peripherals, extra attached devices, use the input and output ports on the computing devices they build. They've boiled the problem down to the following. A computing device has a labeled list of ports, one through n. So that's, that's clearly an important piece of the problem there. We're gonna have a list effectively of numbers, one through n. And they have a list of candidate peripherals, each with a list of ports it must, must use. So this is what one candidate peripheral might look like, 1389. So that's a subset of the original numbers. This starts to feel like one of those subset problems, where there's n items, and then there's a list of subsets that contain some, but not necessarily all of the items. A single port can only be used by one device at a time. Your job is to find the largest set of peripheral devices the computing device can support simultaneously. So you're going to make a list of peripheral devices. Each peripheral device itself uses a list of ports, and you want your list of peripheral devices to be as large as possible while ensuring that no two peripheral devices use the same port. Uh, so that is important. Support simultaneously means one device at a time. So you're going to find sets. You want to find sets such that no two sets overlap, right? Because if they overlap, then both peripheral devices use the same port. So let's just go back up and remember which of these set problems uh, is, is set up so that no two sets overlap. So what are our set problems? We've got set packing, we do not have independent set. I know it's got the word set in it, but it's not one of the set problems. It's, it's a graph problem. We've got set cover. Um, there is subset sum, which is also a set problem, but it has a very different feel, right? It's, it's, this is not going to be subset sum because we're, we're not given a list of numbers and we're trying to find a subset of the numbers. We're given a bunch of subset of the numbers. So that's more like set cover or set packing. Is this a packing problem where we want to fit in as many sets without overlapping as possible? Or is it a cover problem where we want to cover everything with as few sets as possible? And the answer is, of course, it's a, it's a packing problem. So this is uh, set packing.